In this video, we show the various methods that can be used to review PDF files in Acrobat 10. You have your pick of review options that deliver a PDF file to a group of people. The email review, the shared review, and collaborate live. The comment panel holds the review tools and workflow options. The email review is sent by an individual or initiator of a group. Each person in the group sends their sticky notes, text edits, and markups to the initiator. All comments are merged into one PDF file to complete the review, and email reviews can work with older versions of Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader from version 6 or later. Acrobat.com offers a free group of web services. Collaborate Live provides a way to share a PDF so that the viewers all see a designated area. Adobe Acrobat's review processes use a wizard to ensure you connect, share, and invite your participants easily. Once you log into this service, you can begin showing a synchronized view of your PDF to your team. You must provide your free Adobe ID and your password, or you can type your information to create a new Adobe ID when you log in. Our ID is remembered through our preferences. I can add text to the message that reminds users to use Acrobat or Adobe Reader 9 for Collaborate Live. You can send the PDF files an attachment or send a link, which is great for larger file sizes. The preferences will automatically assist you if you try to send a PDF over 5 megabytes. I will type in an email address. You can wait for your team to join you and review this file, or you can continue to add comments and type notes within the document chat. I'll go ahead and sign out and demonstrate the shared review. An email review relies on the initiator to do the heavy lifting or merging of comments from the team and reporting back. The reviewers don't see each other's comments unless the initiator merges all the comments and emails them to the team. A shared review gives all the reviewers an opportunity to see everyone's comments and give feedback. Acrobat 10 allows you to initiate, track, and manage a shared review, but only Acrobat 10 Pro users can enable those with the free Adobe Reader to participate and add comments in a shared review. I'm going to click on the delivery method and I have two options here. The first is to send a folder to my own server as long as I have read-write access. Or if I don't have a server, I can use Acrobat.com's free service again to hold my documents and comments. The wizard provides the detailed steps the PDF will travel. And if I select the internal folder method of distribution, I could name a profile that keeps the setting information, such as folder name, so I can reuse it again. I'm going to go ahead and add some email invitations. The access level can secure my documents by determining who can view this PDF file. I can choose only the people to whom I send the invitation or anyone who knows my URL. I can also use the Collaborate Live feature of chat and page view sharing. Keep an eye on the deadline. Once it is passed, your team will no longer be able to send their comments. Of course, you can always change the deadline here or later in Acrobat's tracker. Acrobat.com uploads the PDF file with the name underscore review and will begin collecting comments for all reviewers to see. I can continue working while I wait for my reviewers to read their email invitation, log into Acrobat.com, and reply. Whether you start or are participating in the review, the tracker will follow the progress. Notice the yellow document messaging bar on the PDF file. Here you can add your comments and publish them and you can check for new comments. I can also reply to my comments. 
The shared review is real time. We can all comment or reply with notes while the rest of the team watches. This is a great way to save time and get a real understanding of how everyone's comments affect the project. From my options, I can summarize my comments or export them all or only a portion of the comments. Now that my team has given me their advice, I can use a report to help me make changes to my original document. I like to use the document and comments with the sequence numbers on separate pages, and I often make the font larger. If you need feedback on your document, Acrobat 10 gives you Collaborate Live to show a synchronized PDF file with chats, or you can do an email review of your PDF file to allow the initiator to collect and merge team responses. And finally, a shared review lets all reviewers see and respond to comments in real time. Acrobat 10 gives you the flexibility to pick a review solution that will not only save time, but also make your workflow run more efficiently.